Hi everybody, this is Marjorie Wildcraft, and while you're in your garden about to pull that weed, I want you to stop. Most likely, that weed is edible and probably a lot more nutritious than the thing that you're actually planting. Today, I really have the pleasure to introduce you to Dr. John Callis, who is the author of one of the, actually the best wild edible book that I've come across, and I have a small library of wild edible books. Uh, it's called Wild Edible Plants, and he has the first one in the series of the Wild Edible Adventure series. Uh, there'll be more coming out over time. Um, what's so incredible about this book is, well, let me let you tell people why this book is so different from others. First of all, you only have 18 plants in here. Is that well, great? actually, there's 22 plants mm -hmm. in, uh, I believe, 14 chapters. In 14 chapters. And, 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 and the reason there's so few is because they're covered in greater detail than uh, any other book in history, really, mm -hmm. uh, on these particular plants. Because it's uh, what makes it different is it's a user manual, not a field guide. So it helps you identify the plant, and it helps you actually understand how to use it so you'll be successful when you're actually eating the plant. Meaning, successful meaning you enjoy eating it and it's a pleasurable experience as opposed to a miserable experience. What, what I love about it is all these almost all these plants are grow everywhere in the United States. So this is applicable to anywhere uh, in the United States. And also you have a lot of uh, photos that show every phase of the plant from a seedling to a, a little adolescent, to a mature plant well into the seeding stage. And you talk about the edibility at different stages. So we all know, oh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. dandelion's edible, but it's not edible all the time. And you talk about the specific times and how to prepare. Yeah, detail is everything when you're talking about these plants. And uh, the difference between a terrible experience that someone might have and a great experience is that detail. And that's what I try to have uh, in, in the book. So. And by the way, it's not only these plants grow all over North America, but they also grow all over Europe. They grow all over the Mediterranean. These are universal plants. So the, the first volume of my series is, is to give access to the most people, to the most abundant plants that are easily accessible within walking distance of their backyard. And, th and this has been your passion for many, many years, in fact, and your doctorate is in nutrition. That's correct. And yeah. so he brings that in also. And John only writes about plants that he has personally experimented with in incredible depth. So this is a man with a lot of dirt time and you can really get up to speed quickly. And uh, yeah, quite frankly, a lot of these show up in my garden and I eat them and uh, I'm really excited about to pick up some of the others in the book here that I hadn't been aware of. Want to encourage you, he also has a wonderful chapter in the back talking about specifically how to grow a wild garden which uh, is a lot easier uh, and um, less time intensive than, uh, than the way we most of us do start from seeds or seedlings and plants transplant in annuals. So uh, this book is available at? Anywhere books are sold. Uh, you can get it uh, at major bookstores, sometimes local bookstores who have realized that it exists. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can also get it on Amazon or any of the, um, the website uh, bookstores. Great, and John's going to be doing more research for throughout the years, uh, putting out another one in the series with another 20 or so plants. that will be coming up here in another year or two, and there'll be more coming along. But uh, if you get a chance, Edible Wild Plants by Dr. John Callis, I highly recommend it. This is Marjorie Wildcraft, and I'll see you on another segment.